Hey guys, it's Allison, and I'm here with a process video. Um, this one it was kind of inspired by layouts. I don't know. I think a lot of people do this thing where they do vellum half the sheet, um, and then um, another pattern on the other half. I just decided that I always use up my vellum by using in layers, and this one is so beautiful that I just really wanted to use a large piece of it. Um, so all of this stuff should be mostly anyway from the Dear Lizzie uh, documentary collection. So this piece of vellum is from that collection and then that bottom wood grain piece is from that collection. And so that I didn't get tape lines or glue lines or whatever, I stapled little crosses in the top but they're really badly stapled. Sorry if you can hear snoring, my husband's next to me sleeping. <laughs> Um, and then I decide to use some of this gold foil washi tape that also comes from that collection and I used that piece Sorry, my head's gonna be in this video a lot because I do I forgot to wear my glasses So sorry <laughs> I use that little piece that says fancy free even though I don't really know what that means <laughs> But whatever I just used it across it and then I stapled Because that gold foil washi does not stay down very well. I don't know if you guys have used it yet or at all, obviously, because I don't know every single one of you, but it does not stay down very well. Like, if you guys have, like, the little bee washi that's gold foil, it's worse than that. So, yeah. I stapled the ends, and then, obviously, I'm going to glue stuff over the middle part. So, that should stay down. So, now I'm just building my layers, mostly with scraps from this collection already. Um, I don't know. This sheet with the stripes I always thought that I would use it as a full piece but I ended up not that's okay I really like the pieces I've made with it so I'm okay with it so I am just making my layers and then I'm like I don't know I was using this piece with the ampersands and then I realized that the other one looks better but I'm like no I don't want to cut a piece out of that one because I want to save it and then I like look through the whole paper pad and realize that I just want to use that piece because I have a little bit of a piece of it but it's just awkward looking <laughs> so then I use this piece instead and I like the way it looks better sometimes neat layers are better like tidy layers are sometimes better and I knew I wanted to use a half of a piece of doily half of a gold foil doily from the all gold ephemera pack from my mind's eye um even before this layout started i knew i wanted to use one of those so i'm just popping my photo mm. up and then i'm using half of a doily mm. sorry about the snoring <laughs> mm. um we were cuddling while i was doing voiceovers and mm. then he fell asleep and now he's sleeping and snoring loudly mm. so i'm just writing the title mm. these stickers i think are called journal and i was having some trouble mm. with these i really I need to get me a ruler really badly. So now I'm just playing around with the ephemera pieces. Um, I love this little hello love thing, but I don't end up using it on this layout. I used, I actually did use it on another layout this week. I don't know if I post this video for it or not though. I've had like so much, I don't know, my son is finally somewhat sleeping at night, sort of. Not every single night, but, like, more nights than not, he's going to bed at, like, 7.30. And my daughter goes to bed at, like, 7. Um, so I've been able to do more than one layout a night, which is amazing. So I've just been filming, like, one that I do every night, and then the other one I've kind of just been doing my own time. So not all of my layouts are getting filmed anymore. But I will do um, a layout share soon with the ones I've been doing because I have a few done. So what I'm doing here is I'm using some rub-ons. Again, these rub-ons are really tough. I cut out a lot of footage from this because these ones are really hard to get off. Um, and I thought maybe it was just because it was on the vellum, but it's hard to get the bottom one off too. So, And I did, um, sorry about my head. <laughs> Um, so mm -hmm. I made it so it says, hello, darling love, which doesn't make perfect sense, but I just really liked it. This was right after she got her first haircut. Mm -hmm. I think she looks really pretty here. So obviously I think my child looks pretty at all times, but you know what I mean? Um, and then I put another rub on down and this one is a, basically a waist. I think it says XOXL, but 
you'll see something happens to it later on. Um, so I did, so I see, I'm going through the stickers and I see this birdhouse and I'm like, well, the colors don't really go, but I mean, it's part of the collection. And then I kind of put it in that space and I really liked the way it looked. So then I decided to use it because when else would the opportunity to use that birdhouse come up, really? Um, so then I was like, hmm, maybe the larger flowers will look good, but then I realized I like the smaller ones. And, um, checking out some puffy stickers. I put that little puffy bird on top of the birdhouse because birds like birdhouses, obviously. Well, it's like a clock. It's not even a birdhouse, is it? It's like a cuckoo clock. <laughs> oh, well. It has birds that are fake living inside of it, so I will put a real bird on top of it. Well, not a real bird, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so see this this is the moment I mess it all up wow I should have edited my head out more but um I put this little gold star on that little heart and then I didn't like it and then I tried to peel it off but it peeled the rub on like right up so then I was like well I guess I'm gonna leave it and then I just really don't like it so I end up covering it but I'm using these gold stickers from Heidi Swap. They're from Michaels, just because I liked the way that they looked and I wanted to add something to the collection because we don't always need to stick to one collection. I have been sticking to collections a lot lately. I think mostly just because I'm lazy and it's easier that way. But And I also just really love this collection and the Amy Tan one. So um, I've been really sticking to them separately most mm -hmm. of the time. But yes, so here is me realizing I want to cover that thing because I just don't like it. Um, and then I find this little roam cloud. And I just cut off that like the part where it's like a thought bubble just because, I don't know. It's rare that I like to make my pictures cutesy like that. Sorry, you can hear my husband again, I'm sure. But I just cover it. And then I put a little Heidi Swap sticker there. I really like this sticker sheet. They're a little bit overpriced, but everything at Michael's is overpriced, so just use a coupon. And then I think I'm using that's a date stamp. And then I decide to use the roller date stamp from this collection. And this is me <laughs> scrolling through it for like five minutes, realizing it's not the right one, picking up another one, still not the right one. <laughs> And then finally got the right one. I just put, I think, ooh, I don't even know what it says. I'm sure you guys maybe can read it. But there was a close-up. Thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.